guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys some things that i picked up recently um first i'm gonna get out of the way what i picked up online so when and wild came out with their halloween collection i forget what the exact name for it is i think it's like fantasy makers or something but they came out with four different colored sponges so there's a purple a black and then a lime green and an orange so these are the four shades that they released and you guys can see well actually the original sponge still has the holographic packaging in the back so the first one as you guys can see it has a little witch hat so it's supposed to be like a witch and then the black one is a bat and then the lime green one is frankenstein and the orange is a jack-o-lantern so i love wet and wild's beauty sponge i think it's a really great sponge so when i saw that they released four new shades i was really excited so i'm gonna go ahead and take them out of the packaging just so you guys can see more of the texture um i kind of just wanted to keep them in the packaging so that way you guys can see like the little um costume that i guess they wanted to represent but they're really really nice quality and i'm just gonna test them out what i don't like is when a sponge releases a new color and the texture is different this feels exactly like the regular sponge and as you guys can see it has a slant and then it just says wet and wild here in the very front and they're pretty squishy so when you wet them or you dampen them they're going to be really bouncy so that's why i picked some up i did pick quite a lot of the colors up because i really like the shades that they released so next i went to morphe once again and i picked up the new um i picked up the new 3503 palette so this one is a little different it is very warm it still is a warm palette just like 350 but if you guys do follow my mercari if you guys are like uh, followers of my mercari or have ever looked at it um i did put my 350 up for sale because i wasn't using it i still have my 3502 because i feel like i like the colors of it so much more but 35.0 i kind of just grew out i feel like i have so many palettes that have warm shades in them and that i like better so i decided to sell it so i did pick up the new one because at first it did look identical to like what the you know the other ones looked like but once you see it in person it's a lot more bright and as you guys can see it has greens a glitter and then more like neon colors this one is a little bit more fun to me so I really do like it and I love that lime green that they have in the palette. Um, this one does retail I believe for $25 but I did get it during the bestie sale that they currently have going on and the packaging is really nice. Um, I hope that continuing on with their new palettes they continue to make them cardboard because it's just better than using plastic. So um, I also picked up a lip liner from Morphe. This is their color pencil in a sweet tea i saw that i love sarai was saying that this is a really great shade and i always love the kinds of lip colors that she has on so i decided to just pick the lip liner up even though you know um i don't even know how much their lip liners are but the color looks really pretty i'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand it's just a nice shade to put all over your lips and then fill in your lips with or you can just line your lips to make them look fuller which is typically what i like to do with my lip liners so i picked up that shade again in the shade sweet tea and then last but not least um i've been looking at this palette every single time i've gone into the smorphy store because the first time i saw it online it kind of didn't catch that much of my attention but the more i kept going to the morphe store i was more intrigued they also sell it at sephora if you don't have a morphe by you so this is the lunar beauty strawberry dream color palette so it looks like this and as you guys can see you have that holographic moon so i really do like this particular palette i think it's really 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 pretty as you guys can see these are all matte shades across here and then these I believe yeah these four are matte shades all the ones on the top are shimmer and then this is a shimmer as well i like the color variety of this palette i just really like how he created like a different twist to it and he added these two blues 
and they're actually like super super pretty um me like i really love the shades of blues that he chose to incorporate in this palette so yeah i can't wait to actually wear this on my eyes i hope to do a tutorial with it soon just because i'm really intrigued by the color story so that was everything i picked up from morphe the next couple of items I picked up from Ulta Beauty. So Ulta Beauty had this $10 off of a $35 purchase. Um, so I decided to go into the actual Ulta Beauty store because I've been wanting to try out the Juvia's Place foundation and concealer. And the only way I was going to actually want to try it out was if I bought it in store. So that way I can get a closer match to my actual skin tone since online it's kind of tricky. So I picked up the I Am Magic Concealer in the shade 19. So this is the shade that I picked up. The shade uh, next to it, 20, was a little bit too light. So I decided to get 19 because it wasn't too dark and it also wasn't too light. And then for foundation, I picked up uh, 540. And this is a tube that it comes in. <coughs> it's kind of small. But this is, uh, you do get an ounce, yeah. So it's typical for a foundation. And like I said, I picked up this shade 540. Um, I kind of wanted to get my receipt because I wanted to show you guys the pricing that I got for everything. So for the foundation, I ended up paying $17. And then for the concealer, I ended up paying 12 bucks. So it kind of saved a little bit of money even if it wasn't that much. And then I also picked up this palette. It's been on my list, but I also knew I didn't need it, but I still wanted it. But this is the 35H palette from Morphe. You guys already know that they sell Morphe at Ulta. This is a plastic packaging palette, but this is what she looks like. And then you open it up. It has a little cover with all the names on it, which I'm not really a big fan of. I just feel like they're flimsy and they kind of mess up the shadows eventually. Olive gold, but this is what the palette looks like. You guys have like blues, some warm tones, and then like some corals. I don't know. The color story isn't like all that in your eye when you first look at it, but I really did like the tones of blues and reds and burgundies that they did include in it. So... I hope to do a look with it soon as well. I really have been looking at this for a very long time. And another palette I have been looking at for a while as well is the NYX Modern Dreamer, which is their new palette. Um, this does look a lot, well, like at first glance, it looks a lot like the Sorbite palette, which is the original that they came out with. And this comes with 40 eyeshadows. <coughs> yeah 40 and it tells you which ones are pressed pigments and which ones are just regular eyeshadows in the back so this is what the modern dreamer palette looks like it is a little bit more fun to me and the swear by it palette is more of like a fall palette to me this is a swear by it This is what she looks like. As you guys can see, there's blues, there's greens, and then there's burgundies. But then there is the Modern Dreamer. And in this one, there's not as many of those shades. There's like more pops of color. And I just feel like this one I'm really going to like. Um, I'm going to try it out and see how the pigmentation is. But so far, I've heard a lot of people really like this palette. So, you know, 40 shades. 35 bucks and if you can get it on sale it's even better so yeah i definitely recommend checking ulta out whenever they do have sales on like um nyx but with this one um my store by palette i ordered a lot i order i ordered it online and it did come kind of scratched up in like the packaging and when i picked this one up in ulta there was a lot less scratches on it i just feel like when you you know you get something in the mail or like it's being shipped to you it just moves around a lot in the box and like the bubble wrap just kind of scratches it up which at the end of the day so long the shadows aren't damaged it's not that big of a deal but it's not as aesthetic pleasing to me when the palette's all scratched up so yeah that is everything that i picked up recently um 
I do have some things coming in the mail and then I'm also planning to purchase the um, like two more palettes. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up the new one from Stroke Cosmetics. I'm kind of still contemplating that one because I can wait. Um, right now it's just being available for pre-order on September 23rd, I believe. But for now, I'm just going to try to limit myself as much as I can. So yeah, um, I should have another haul soon, but it's not going to be like in a week. It's probably going to be like in a couple weeks or in a month. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you guys are always up to date on when I decide to upload, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.